A dog owner wants to know who kicked and choked her miniature Yorkie in Evanston. The dog actually has head trauma, and her owner now wants police to find out who did this. WLWT News Science Emily Wood is live for us in the newsroom tonight. On this story, you'll see only on WLWT. Hi, Emily. Hi, Cherie. And Mike, the owner says her dog was beaten while she was at the grocery store last night. She says she has an idea of who might be responsible and called Cincinnati police to start an investigation. Raynell Rice has to carry her dog Angelina, who was beaten just steps from the front door of her Evanston home. Rice says the animal was hit with this brick and choked. Found her laying on her chain, attached to her chain. Um, they had beat her with a brick, drug her down the steps, knocked her tooth out, kicked her, spit on her. You can see how difficult it is for Angelina to even stand on her right paw because her leg is so bruised. Yeah. Her, her leg is hurting her real bad. Rice thinks some kids in the neighborhood might be responsible. So there's her doctor bill. Her doctor's bill totaled close to $300 and Rice says the head trauma she suffered could lead to future seizures. Rice is working with Cincinnati police to investigate and find out who attacked Angelina. She was a real frail dog, so I, I can't imagine why anybody would want to hurt her or harm her. I really want justice to be served for Angelina. She's a great dog. I love her. She's my baby. Rice hopes someone in the neighborhood will come forward and speak up to prevent this from ever happening again. Now, Rice says her vet is keeping Angelina sedated and on pain medication, but is unsure if she will make a full recovery. Shereen. Emily Wood reporting live for us in the newsroom. Emily, thank you. Poor little thing. Cincinnati police are investigating the case, they say. Rice's mother was inside the home at the time of the attack, but says she couldn't get a good look at who did it.